Hello YouTube and LEGO fans, Adult Fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to my review of set 10222, the Winter Village Post Office. I've already done an unboxing of this particular set and I'm going to put a link down to that down in the description um, to this video. Um, but just very, very quickly, like I said, the set 10222. The Winter Village Post Office, this is part of the seasonal uh, Winter Village theme. This particular set was released in 2011, comes with 822 pieces, 7 minifigures, um, and at the point in time when it was released it retailed for £49.99 in the UK, or $69.99 in the United States, and it is for ages 12 plus. So let's get on with the review and let's take a look at those minifigures. Okay, let's have a look at the minifigures then. Okay then, so first up we have our male post office worker. See his uniform there, his torso printing, he has his blue trousers on. His uniform, you can see he's got an envelope in his top pocket by the looks of it. Or it could be a handkerchief. Um, printed face there with his spectacles on, and he has this black cap on. Okay, next up we have the female post office worker. So she has the same printed torso, different colour pan pants, and she has obviously her female face wearing her lipstick, and she has this um, hairpiece. Next up we have what is just called the female. So this is obviously a lady going to the post office to post a letter which you can see in her hand there. It's a printed tile. Um, there's a number of these of those in this set. See the print into her torso. Her face there smiling again with lipstick and this brown hairpiece. So and she's wearing a black skirt. So along the rear of these you see there the female just remove her hairpiece some print into the rear of the torso a female post office worker no rear printing however she does have a second face obviously not too happy and finally our male worker again no rear torso printing and he has only the one sided face okay next up we have a music musicians two of them See our first one here, and he's playing the uh, saxophone. Got a cool little build to make that saxophone. Okay, just remove that from his hand. Quite difficult. You see his front torso print in there, and his face of his brown beard, brown hairpiece, and he has these black trousers. Okay, next up, our next musician is playing this banjo, pretty cool. So that piece there is actually a sticker on a round 2x2 two two tile. I'll show you how that's made in a second. A modified tile, I should say. So let's just remove that. I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay. From the top he has a black beanie, you can see the print in there to his face. Print on his torso, blue jacket and a light blue shirt underneath. He has this scarf piece which is a separate piece. Um, and obviously the different coloured legs there to the rear. Again, here we go, see that scarf at the rear. No printing on the rear and he only has the single sided face. So our saxophone player, again, no printing to the rear. And I believe, yeah, no printing um, on the face. So I just want to show you this banjo again. You can see that. So that is just a, obviously the modified tile there, which is normally used for signposts. So that's our two musicians. Okay, next up we have our two kids, or children. So there's our first one, 
So you see them there with the smaller legs. There's a front torso print in there, some blue dungarees, obviously got a white shirt underneath it. He's holding in his land hand what's supposed to be a dog lead. I'll show you the dog in a second, so we just remove that. Okay. See there's face printing his freckles. So this black hair piece. Okay, next up we have obviously an older child because he has um what tends to be the adult legs. Okay, he's holding this shovel. He's actually clearing, helping to clear some of the snow up. Just remove that. Okay, now he's wearing this green hooded piece here. So to keep him warm in the snow, if we just take that off for a second. And we can see his face. No print into his torso. No print into the rear also, and it's only a single sided face. Okay, and our first child, you can see there again the rear torso printing. Remove his hair, and he's only got the single sided face as well. Okay, so that's our main, fi main mini figures, but finally, we have also comes with this set this dog. And the dog also comes with a bone. There is a bone piece there for the dog too. So that's all our minifigures and also the dog. Okay, let's take a look at the other features to this set. First we'll start off with this bench. Um, very basic piece. As you can see here. Okay, so it's just simply a bench within um, a small snow scene. So we can obviously see here a pile of snow. So that's our bench. Okay, next up we we'll take a look at the pavilion or bandstand. That's obviously where the musicians are performing. So just give a spin round of that. It's obviously the entrance there to get into the actual pavilion. You can see these again. Christmas decorations and lighting around the exterior. Okay. Up on the top again, you have some light pieces represented by some little translucent red studs. Um, and obviously the white tiles on the roof obviously represent some snow and at the very top here um, we have this again star piece with some translucent red studs on either side of that so inside there are some seating areas you can see in there um, that is pretty much it quite a cool little um, pavilion um, does look good Okay, next up is our post office delivery truck. And this really does up the part. Okay, a quick look round. There is a sticker on the side. On the, here we have some snowshoes attached to the side of the truck. See the front of it and the license plate one S one zero two two two. Obviously, that's the set number. See the grill there. These lights, and again, same on this side. That sticker down on the end. You can see inside the back there, there's a couple of parcels, um, and again, the lights and the license plate at the rear, too. Up on the roof is a sack. You can see there, there's a delivery sack. Obviously, the mail would go in there. I'm just going to remove this roof to get to these parcels okay so there are two parcels this green one obviously some decoration on top of it and this yellow one again with some decoration on top of that okay and they simply slide into the rear of the truck like so 
one next to it so you can see those sat in there put the roof back on that just simply slots in place like so back around to the side doors so have a door there on that side and one again on the other side there that's the inside there our steering wheel so to get our minifigure in there again like with most of these builds to simply remove this roof piece like so so I'll just put the minifigure inside so you can take a quick look at that okay so there we see now with the minifigure in there I've just left the roof off for a second you see him sat in there so again just put the roof piece clip it back on Okay, so there we can see our male post office worker ready to uh, deliver his parcel. So that's our little truck. Okay, the final separate piece that comes with this is just um, this tree. We've all seen these before, but it's the larger variant to this um, tree, but it is actually a separate piece. Okay, finally we have the actual post office itself, uh, which you can see there in shot now. Again, um, my opinion, as with all these seasonal winter village sets, I think they do look fantastic. Um, and again, this one doesn't let down. Um, so, I'll just see across the front here. I will take the camera off the tripod and give a bit of a close look in a second. But here we have two post box. Um, obviously, the door. Um, there's a little sign here with some information on it. That's a sticker there. So the windows all the way around the front and we can see inside that window and there's some um, letters and parcels in there um, obviously two upstairs windows um, above here again we have some Christmas lights decorations um, there's a clock up the top there you see over on the corner we have one of the smaller trees we have a look at the side Okay, so on this side we have this light detail, or have a lamp post, there's a lamp there. Um, there's another window there and there's some icicles which you'll see in a second when I get that closer look. Look around to this side, so this side is where we have our chimney stack. Um, some cool detailing on that again. Um, and there we can see a little tree, and obviously on the roof, um, various patches of snow. So one of the features in this is just have a light brick, uh, which I'm just going to press now. You may hopefully see that lighting up inside. Oh, I do I just switch my light off. Hopefully you'll be able to get a better look of that. So there we go, that's the light brick lighting up. Okay, let's spin it around and have a look in the rear. That's that light brick there, which just moves up so we can see inside. Um, obviously, it's the post office, so there's various parcels and letters waiting to be delivered. What we're going to do now is take this camera off the tripod to give you a closer look. Okay, so here we go, a bit of a closer look now. Uh, we can see the two post boxes, and again, there's stickers on the front of there. Over to our front door. And there's another uh, little sign there, so that's obviously the opening hours, 9 till 5. And there we can see our front window, you see these icicles hanging down on either side. It's our little tree. Upstairs, that's that light detail. And there we have a clock, again that's a sticker. Okay around here and you can see our light on this lamppost there looking good spin around so we can have a look at that side there so again you can see the window and you can actually see in that window there's some parcels and letters and again a couple of icicles hanging down from that window and again some